What would you do if you woke up in the morning and for whatever reason, you didn't have to worry about money? What would you do? Maybe money vanishes off the face of the earth. Or maybe you're just so financially abundant, you don't have to worry about it. You know? But what would you do with your time? See, every human on the planet has a very special and unique gift. I, I'm kind of picky about how I use that word, but you get the point that I'm making. Every human on the face of this earth has a very special and unique gift that only they can bring to the planet. That only they can bring to the planet in their own unique way, right? But the sad thing is, most people, and when I say most, I mean the vast majority of people end up going to their grave having never tapped into what that gift was. Why? Because they've been in survival mode their whole life. That's why. They've been so conditioned to chase money. Money is the number one priority. Money, 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 right? And I'm not saying that money is bad. That's not what I'm saying at all. The point that I'm making is that we were born into and brought up in a system that has conditioned us to chase money. So your average person has no idea what their actual gift is because they're too busy chasing money. And, and you know, people come to me all the time and it breaks my heart when, when I hear this, but people come to me all the time and they'll ask me things like, should I write this book I've been wanting to write for the last 10 years? Should I start this YouTube channel I've been wanting to start for the last five years? You know, should I pursue a career in music? Should I, should I, should I, should I? And I'm like, I always have to, to tell them, I don't care what my reading says. Yes, fucking do it, dude. Like, I don't care what my cards say. And I'm thinking to myself when they ask me this, why are you asking me this? Why are you asking me for permission to do something that you really want to do? Something you're passionate about. And then, you know, it dawned on me one day that, that the reason they're asking is because they want to know if I do this, will it be successful and will it make me money? And that is a clear indication to me that if I was to tell them no, then they wouldn't do it. If they don't believe it'll make them money, they will rob themselves of the chance to at least get on the path and start living out something that they're passionate about, you know? And that's just very sad. It's very sad. But that system the system of debt enslavement is going bye-bye. It's going bye-bye. Now, I don't know all the little details and ins and outs of how all this is going down, but the things that happen in the next two years, 2024 and 2025, are going to be focused and centered around a global financial reset. Global. It does not matter where you are on the planet. It's already started in a lot of places. And it's going to have to be a slow, gradual, probably pain in the ass process. You know, because if, if you were to overnight evenly distribute the wealth to every human being on the planet overnight, and yes, there is more than enough money to make every human being on the planet very wealthy. Yes, there is. But if you were to do that, all that money would just end up right back in the same hands in the next five years. Because we have to be unprogrammed and reprogrammed, right? We have to 
actually get on a frequency of abundance. You have to get on that frequency. Because if you're not on a frequency of abundance and somebody dumps a bunch of money on you, you're going to take that money and manifest your frequency. If you're on a frequency of lack and I dump a bunch of money on you, that money is going to manifest lack and struggles that you couldn't even comprehend. Believe it or not, yes, it will. So I would just like to invite you to think about that. Like seriously think about it. Seriously. Like really sit and play with that thought in your mind. What would I do if I did not have to worry about money? What would I do? What would I do with my time? I have, I have a theory as to what I think most people would do. I'm, I'm very picky and choosy when I put my theories out there. This is a theory that your average person would be really, 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 really happy for the first three months. They'd be really happy. And then from four to six months, they would start getting a little bit restless, All right? A little bit restless, a little bit annoyed, a little bit irritated. And then from six to nine months, uh, they would probably start falling into a depression. Life kind of seems a little bit pointless. Like, what's the point of life? I just wake up and just kind of exist with no real aim, no real direction, nothing to look forward to, nothing, nothing, nothing. Like, what? what is the point of this? I start getting a little bit depressed. And then probably after about a year, year and a half, somewhere in there, they will more than likely kind of, I hate to use this word, but kind of be forced. Not really forced. That's not the right word, but they'll be left with very little choice through this restless depression and, and feeling of meaninglessness. All of a sudden, their focus will start turning to what they are passionate about. When you don't have anything else that you have to do, when you don't have to get up and slave away to keep a roof over your head, you don't have to trade hours and hours of your time to keep your lights on, to put food in the fridge, to keep your vehicle on the road, to keep gas in it. When you don't have to slave away the majority of your time just to have your basic needs met, What are you going to do, you know? And and it's just important that you think about that, okay? Very important. Very, very important. So I just wanted to toss that little reminder out there. Really think about that, dude. You have a very unique, special gift that nobody can bring to the planet but you. Nobody can bring it to the planet in a, a way that is unique as you. Like even if even if your gift is something that a lot of other people can do or whatever, they can't do it like you. They can't quite bring it to the planet the way you can. Like, you know, basketball players. There's a there's fucking thousands and thousands of basketball players. But there's only one MJ. You know, there was only one Kobe, only one LeBron, right? So, so think about that. Whatever your gift is, I would recommend giving yourself permission to tap into it first before you end up getting put in a situation that like leaves you with no choice. <clears throat> I would recommend that. Um, just put money aside. Say, who cares about money? If, if it makes me money, great. If it doesn't, whatever. This lights my soul on fire. And, I mean, maybe some people are afraid of failure. Who cares, man? Do you know that when you're at the end of your life looking back, you're, you would much rather be looking back seeing that you had tried and failed 
than to be looking back wondering what would have happened if you would have tried. I'll tell you what, I live my life based on that now. That's that's like the the <laughs> the whole philosophy of my life. I will try. I might fail, and that's fine. I would rather try and fail than, you know, end up on my deathbed looking back with regret, wondering what would have happened if I would have tried. So give yourself permission to tap in, man. Give yourself permission to write that book, all right? Start that YouTube channel. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, start doing it for no good reason other than it lights your soul on fire, okay? So, all right, I know one person needed to hear that. And as long as one person takes one thing that they heard me say and they use that to change their life, then my job is complete. I'm out of here now, y'all. I wish you love, luck, light, and prosperity on your journey. Stay blessed.